So the question is uh, a question along the lines of um, uh, spirituality and loss of creativity uh, and also loss of motivation. Uh, I think that's a great question. Uh, one of the things to understand with uh, spiritual growth is that at each level of consciousness the whole world is perceived differently. And so from one level uh, if you look at another level, they are very different. Mm, I'll give you an example. Uh, when I was working in the... An, another very important thing, and this I think a lot of spiritual students will find, is they may end up doing less and less things, you know, as they're releasing more and more things. It's like, you know, when I was in... You know, when I was in active addiction, I was working in the stock market, you know, I was, I was working, I don't know, 12, 14, 16 hour days, hugely productive, hugely motivated, full of adrenaline. Uh, also, it was, quite, it was very exciting, lots of drama, going to different countries, hotels, uh, you know, Las Vegas, New York, lots of excitement, uh, lots of things. And in, in many respects, it was an exciting life. Uh, and I was Oh yeah, in turn, you know, I was getting pay. You know, I, I was getting lots of pay rises. I was an extreme addict. I was a workaholic, tenacious, and uh, and you know, on some level, I was doing all the things my ego dreamed should be making me happy. You know, super productive, uh, hugely productive. Hu you know, relatively getting successful in that role. You know, managing other people, international companies. So. All the things that my, all the tick boxes that my ego had, a lot of them were being fulfilled, and yet it wasn't. And there was a lot of adrenaline and a lot of highs as well. So uh, and a, uh, and a lot of drama, but yet at the end of the day, that that almost killed me. Uh, and yet I was ticking. You know, it was very exciting actually. It was uh, on many on some levels from a certain angle, and yet. There was uh, a layer of self-loathing and a destructive, destructiveness underlying uh, everything. So, one of the things, uh, very quickly, that I learned, and this is really gonna, um, this is like a very def deflatory thing, uh, and is you know, I'm, I'm, I pursue enlightenment for myself. Uh, a lot of what I share with others is, is around enlightenment, but I don't. I'm not saying that, I'm not in any way saying that other people should do what I do. Uh, I'm not saying that other people should do it as extremely as I do. I mean, I think, uh, probably I should say this on camera as well, I mean, everyone's free to, to do what they want. I mean, I don't want to tell people they have to become me. Yeah, and, uh, and I don't want to, and, and also, you know, everyone, as far as I'm concerned, is free to do as much spirituality, as little spirituality, if they like my spirituality, to follow it or to take what they want, to leave the rest, or do something else and not do spirituality, it's like, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I think there can be a mistake, and maybe I'm at fault, uh, you know, in saying, I'm not saying that more regularly, that you don't have to do what I'm doing, you know, or you just take what you want and leave the rest, or, you know, uh, take any bits which are helpful, and I probably should say that because maybe people are having a thing that how I work my spirituality into the level I work my spiritually, I'm saying other people are wrong not to do that. I mean, it's not, that that's not my intention. Everyone's free to do as much or as little. Each level of consciousness has its own rewards, but its own downside. Uh, and each level is you could live a whole life at each level of consciousness. You know, at a certain level, you do a certain amount of spiritual work, you get to a level, level of consciousness, you could stop doing spiritual work and live the rest of your life at that level. And, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's like everyone's free to do what they want, you yeah? know. Or they can do more work. When you do more work, things change to get to the next level. I mean, the ultimate thing of spirituality is going to sound really horrible to the ego. You know, it's like being happy now. You don't have to do anything. You know, do I have to do an extra 100 hours of work to be happy? Uh, maybe if you've got that belief. Do I have to have more money to be happy right now? You know, uh, you know, do I need a girlfriend in order to be happy right now? 
So at certain levels it would be, do I have to do 100 activities a day so that I feel I'm entertained enough? Um, uh, uh, and uh, so as you let go more, you tend to go into these flow states where the intrinsic nature of being, you know, is joy and happiness. And the thing of the idea, the ego's projection mechanism, you know, this was, uh, this was explained by all high spiritual teachers, is that as soon as something in the ego is seen as being, when you achieve it, you'll be happy. So when I, am, when I'm super, when I become super productive, I'm going to be really happy. When I have a varied life, and I have been doing lots of exciting opportunities, then I'll be happy. Uh, when I have a girlfriend, then I'll be happy. If, uh, if, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll be happy. Um, so all of these things is like, you know, if I eat a donut now, if I, if I can have 10 donuts tomorrow, I'll be happy. Or this evening, I'll be happy. If I get a variety of donuts today, because uh, I've been eating the same <laughs> donut for, for too long. So if I could get a variety of different flavored donuts, then I'll be happy. So all of the, and you know what? You know, as a, if I have that idea, then when I do eat the donut, I am happy. But it's the idea, so it does create. So when I want something and I get it, I, I get a spike of happiness because I'm now getting the thing I think will make me happy. But the thing, is, the thing is, as you release stuff, you get more and more happy just by being, by being in the now. And you get into these flow states where things start to happen. So it's a different thing. So, but you can stop at any level. You know, you can stop at any level have, and have, have, you know, like for me, there's two major spiritual paths. I choose enlightenment, but another path is unconditional love. You know, um, just to work, like, uh, work on unconditional love. You can stop at other levels. Um, I think with things like motivation, motivation, like if I'm at a certain level, I want to be more productive at work, you know, then I would do things like counseling beliefs. I would also do things like visualization, uh, you know, visualizing myself being more, 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 more productive. I'd use my hypnotherapy skills and put in visualizations to install programs within myself of, of, of be happily working. Uh, productively, more productively, or you know, uh, if I or if I think that there's not enough variety, for me, the, I mean, because of what the type teacher, and there's nothing wrong about having a varied, exciting life. I mean, I, I mean, I choose enlightenment, so I'd say like, well, who needs to be have a more varied life before they can be happy? Who needs to be more motivated before they can be happy? Yeah, I'm not in. I'm not against any doing more things, but. I don't want to be, for me, because I seek enlightenment, I don't say anything, I want, just like, if I need to do something bef and then be happy after I've uh, got there, uh, you know, for me, the thing with en uh, enlightenment or being in the eternal now is that you, you experience happiness and you express you're more an instrument of the divine. I mean, you know, things like, uh, you know, uh, people, creativity for me, I mean, divine creativity comes from lack of ego. Like the, the, the artists uh, and the great people who, who got from very high levels of spiritual connection, there, there is a level of creativity that comes from the divine. And there is a level of creativity that comes from the ego as well. So they're, they're different. Uh, I'm not saying any level is better or worse. You know, I think it's okay to be at a certain level and to become to spend time visualizing productivity and being more productive and achieving more at work and, and doing all that, there is also a level of consciousness where lots of variety during the day is very stimulating. And at a certain level of consciousness, you know, those things lose their attraction. At each level, certain things seem to be attractive. At another level, it's, not, it's no longer needed to be attractive. So, I, and I'm not telling anyone what's right or wrong. Everyone can choose uh, what they do. And I think in terms of work, you know, using, using things like visualization, uh, cancelling beliefs against being productive, uh, even, you know, reading the usual stuff, how to be productive, time management, if, that, if that's the level you're at, you know, all of that stuff is, is helpful, you know, or 12-step fellowship. So, yeah.